besties we have a giant haul with the range so this isn't any old haul okay this is a christmas haul this is my favorite time of year and when this time of year comes around all i literally want to do is decorate my house like santa's grotto one of the best places to be able to do that as well is the range guys if you've seen their christmas stuff oh my god it's like heaven i walk in there and i, I just want everything not only was I able to go to the range and get some really amazing stuff, guys, the range actually know that I exist. <laughs> Mind is blown. Literally mine's higher year, mate. <laughs> they actually gave me a gift card to spend, do some Christmassy shopping. So this is courtesy of the range and I want to say thank you so much. This is one hell of a Christmas present. I'm so grateful. I mean, to be honest, I would have gone and spent this anyway. But how amazing. And no, they didn't ask me to like make content. They just sent it as like just a nice thing. But obviously I'm going to show you what I got. Duh. <laughs> we have one bag, two. Oh my God. This one is so heavy, oh my god. My arms were like shaking. <laughs> and we also have number three. Okay, so sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea. This is old school YouTube style content. Okay, the stuff that we all enjoy. Little side note as well. I'm actually using a new camera and a different mic. I've actually got one of these groovy little handheld mics. I can actually clip this on me, but I haven't played around with the settings and I feel like this is sounds too close. Bear with me if the settings are weird, if the lighting is weird, if the audio sounds weird, I'm still learning. Anyway, enjoy the haul. Starting strong, guys. I got a tree. I do have a main Christmas tree for the living room and I got a bunch of new decks, which you'll see coming up. But I wanted to get a little Christmas tree for the background of my content, whether that be like YouTube videos. Like I wanna put it in my makeup room basically, right? This was actually on display in the store and this literally looked like the perfect size. It's six foot as well, this tree still, but it's actually a pop-up tree, which will make it so easy, so convenient. I'm already gonna be spending a lot of time putting the main Christmas tree up. So I thought it'd be nice to be able to do like another tree that's not gonna take as long and I can still decorate it and stuff like that. Pre-lit with 150 warm white LEDs. This looks lush guys, it's really full. It was such a good price as well. I feel like the range prices are though, aren't they? What I'll try to do is link slash write everything below with the prices next to it. Just because I know what I'm like, I'll forget as I go along. <laughs> Where are we gonna put you? Ugh. I have a new friend. This is my gonk. I'm sorry, but I am obsessed with the whole gonk thing this year. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they're everywhere. Listen, I'm so here for like the classic Christmas colors. I really am. But the fact that this is neutral, I like pops of red, I like pops of green, but I'm just obsessed with this. <laughs> I think this is so cute. It's a little reindeer gonk, but the best part guys, the gonk extends. <laughs> I love it. Do you know what? I wish I bought a second one because then I could have had one smaller and one taller. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Like part of me wants to put it by the front door. Part of me wants to put it in here. I'm not 100% yet, but let's be honest. It's going to go somewhere and I love it. And do you know what? I think this was about 15, 20 pounds, like around that mark, which I thought was so good because sometimes these bigger things can be a little bit more pricey. This was a really good price. So I love it. <laughs> you know what? can stay right there, sir. I'm fully aware that this isn't gonna be everybody's flavor. And I wasn't sure on it until I kind of had like a vision in my head. So this year I want some like almost big baubles on my tree. When I say big, like I want like giant baubles on my tree. I want that really chunky bauble look. And I thought maybe these could be cute. I don't even know what these are meant to be. They were in the Christmas bit though, but they might, the only thing is they might be a little bit too heavy to go on my tree. They do have a little bit of weight to them. I think I picked up maybe three or four of them. Maybe I could like stuff them into the tree, you know, rather than like hanging, I could stuff them in. Can't remember how many I picked up. But listen, we've got some balls to play around with and I'm not mad about it. Listen, I had to get the mini ones as well. I felt like it would have been rude not to. Pack of six little hanging decoration balls. Guys, look how cute they are. Oh my God, look at them together. <laughs> the size difference. <laughs> These ones I know for sure are hanging decorations for your tree. Like they've got the little, um, bit on them and everything. And like I said, pack of six. In the range, they had loads of sort of like packs of baubles to choose from, which I think is really nice. I feel like these make really good, I mean, these ones are more statement to be honest, but they, these packs make good sort of like fillers for the tree, like stackers to really bulk out the tree and they're cheap as well. Switch up from the tree decks for a second. I picked up this cute little ceramic bowl. This was obviously in the kitchen section. I don't know about you, but I think this is gonna make the perfect snack bowl at Christmas, like when you have family and things over and you can fill this with like chips. What could be cute is you have like a separate bowl in there like for dip so it's like a chips and dip bowl or for anything i feel like this is gonna be it's super festive oh my god fill it with chocolates like open that bowl of heroes and just chuck them in here if you want something a bit more festive love it i think these are so stunning i almost want to keep them like longer than christmas that's how i feel about these cute little festive lantern and it's got an led candle in it i'm pretty sure it's just gonna be yeah battery operated i need to get some batteries for that i love the coloring the snow the little bits of holly thinking about that you can just click on on the bottom it lights up it's good to go i really really want to put these on the dining table i got two here you go here is the other one i was praying that i didn't hear a breaking sound there <laughs> here you go here's two so i want like one 
on either end. Let me show you close up so you can see all the pretty details. I don't know about you, but I like to make as many rooms as possible festive in the house, especially downstairs, because I feel like that's where I spend my most time. Nothing makes me happier than walking into the house and just seeing festiveness everywhere. It's my favorite season. We're gonna do it. Another thing this year, I really wanna add more black on my tree. Just add a bit of depth, you know? Picked up these cute little um, decorative bows. These were only 99p each. They're gorgeous as well, because they're a shimmery black. So again, with the lighting on the tree, they're gonna look so nice. And the perfect little size as well, like not too big, not too small. Got a little handful of them, so we can just scatter those around. Oh my God, these were adorable. I actually couldn't leave these in the store. I'm gonna be honest, guys. As much as I like things to be matching on my tree, I do like the odd little hanging deck. Are you kidding with these little hanging booties? I'm sorry, that's cuteness overload. I could not leave them there, are you kidding? I had to get two as well. <laughs> £1.99. Look how adorable, they're like a little baby's shoe. They're just the cutest things ever. And if these don't go on the tree down here, I'm sure they'll go on my tree upstairs. That little cute pop-up one. Right, let me just gather these ones up. I'm scared when I hold like the glass decks because I feel like they're so delicate. Okay, cool. I think I did only get three of these. So these are giant glass baubles, but the cool thing about these is they actually light up. Let me just switch it on. How gorgeous is that? There you go. To be honest, I even like them when they're not switched on. So if I'm feeling a little bit lazy, it's fine. <laughs> they're all different patterns as well, like this one with the like gems around the middle, and then you've got this one, which is more of like a flower type snowflakey design. See, this is feeding into my bigger bauble life. I felt like this is exactly the type of thing that I was missing. Oh my God, guys, I really want a hot chocolate station. So bad. Like if there's one thing I crave this time of year, it's hot chocolates with all the trimmings. You name it, whipped cream, sprinkles. I want marshmallows in my hot chocolate, the lot. To the point where a hot chocolate station is essential right now. I need to make one in my house. So I wanted to get some festive mugs so I can have them with the hot chocolate station. You'll see the vision in the vlogs. If you know me, you know I've got this like weird obsession with mugs. I don't know what it is. If I see a cute mug, I need to have it in my life. And this one from the range is not only one festive mug, there's three. But to make it even better, all together, it makes a giant Santa. And the best part is I like every single one. Like I like the cups individually. I need to see. Oh my God, it's even better than I thought. No, stop, because I might cry. <laughs> this is one cup and then it comes with the little removable hats. This is cup number two, so it's Santa's bod. And this is cup number three, so his little feet. <laughs> The range, whoever come up with this concept actually needs a pay rise. I also picked up this little, um, what do you call these? Little mug tree, is that what they're called? One, two, three, four, six. You can fit six mugs on here, that's good. I love the fact that this is matte black because I feel like some of the um, mug trees just aren't, how can I say it? The most aesthetically pleasing. The way I'm gassed to do this hot chocolate station. Stay tuned. I picked up two black and gut. No! Sir, get back in here. Okay, we fixed it. <laughs> Got these two bows for the top of both trees. Like I said, I like to, I wanna have like a bit more black. So I thought these would be really nice as like my little tree topper. I remember seeing loads of different bows like this, like huge ones as well. Tartan print ones, like loads of different types. So have a little mooch. I need to be very quiet when I talk about these because this next thing is for Cobra and he's over there. He's staring at me. Hi. Hi, nothing to see here. <laughs> I always get Cobra Christmas presents. I have a giant sack with a K on for him. Like I wanna fill it with toys, snacks, treats, whatever, right? The range have really nice dog toys anyway, but they also had some Christmassy ones as well. A little plush. A little plush <laughs> Santa. It's a little squeaker. He loves this teddy material. When he was younger, he used to just like gnaw through them in like four seconds. But now that he's a little bit older, he tends to actually like keep these for a little bit longer. Even if he doesn't, he enjoys having them. No, that's for, I've not even shown it yet, mate. Well, that's not for Christmas anymore, is it? Can I quickly just show it to everyone so they know what they have. This is what you took. This is from like the regular toy aisle for, for dogs. What's really cute is you can stuff his little belly with treats as well. So it becomes like a game, but like a puzzle for them, which I feel like Cobes will really enjoy. I mean, he already is. He already wants to take it and leave. I'm such a pushover, like it's not even funny. Oh my God, yes. I got this one as well. This is adorable. This was on like the end Christmas aisle. In my range, they had like all the um, Christmassy pet stuff on like an end. And this was something I could not say no to. So it's a little dog. He's got a little Christmas hat on. He's got a little tartan nose. His feet and his belly are that print as well. And then the legs. They're squeaky. And no, you're not having it. I love you, but you're just not. You're just not, you're just not. We're not having this conversation. 
No, you're like a toddler. You want everything at once. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say the range have some of the best pots like glass jars, glass pots, just storage items in general. And I feel like some of them as well look so expensive. Anyway, I picked up two of these cute little jars. I thought these would, well, all three of them would be perfect for the little hot chocolate station, right? I love the wood lid. I think it's such a good size. Like you could put little marshmallows in here, little candy canes. And then to match, I got this mini little kind of cork style top jar. Where is the spoon? Comes with a little wooden spoon like attached to the side. I thought for sprinkles, this would be perfect. All the little things to make your hot chocolate 10 out of 10. Hot chocolate sachets next to it as well. Stunning. I even have a sign out there. It says, I run off cocoa and Christmas cheer. I think that's what it says. Is that what it says? I think so. That's from the range as well. For like the hot chocolate. You'll see, you'll see. Here's even more decks to bulk out the Christmas tree. I love these ones. I love the color of them. I love how we've mixed almost like gold and silver and the wood in here as well. I feel like overall that's sort of like the color tone of the tree and then black mixed in here too. To make it even better, I like every single one in here. Like I'm gonna use every single bauble. I love every single design. 3 dollars for what, 12 baubles? 16, Jordan, 12. Are you alright? I did get these ones for the tree down here. I mean, maybe I'll end up mixing and matching. I'm not sure. I'll kind of pick and choose as I go along, but... Oh my god, yeah! I forgot I picked these up. I got some mini flakes, guys, for the hot chocolate station. I think these are like smaller, individually wrapped ones as well. Yeah, they are. There's loads of them as well. I think I will just, like, take them out of the wrapper, though. I mean, they would create less mess like this, wouldn't they? But I don't know about you, I feel like maybe like unwrapped in one of these jars would look even better. We'll see. So I got another cute deck. The way that gonk made me feel is the way that this made me feel. She just, I could not leave her on the shelf. Beautiful, almost like little snow angel. Look at her fluffy little skirt and her little booties. I love how the legs dangle down. So if I was to put her like, say on a shelf or whatever, like up here, you see? I like how she looks like she's sitting on there. It's the small things. Colouring as well is to die for. Again, the range, like they basically have like colour schemed or colour coordinated sections, right? All the hanging decks, they have not only a bunch of hanging decks for your tree, but you have all the other stuff as well. Depending on the colour scheme you want to go for, they have red, blue, green. I saw like a bronze in there that was beautiful. They have the nudes, your silvers, your golds, that kind of thing. You see fluff and you want it, right? I know you do. A little hair as well. You're going to go up here. This is some Toy Story shit. Did you see that move? Mm. Even more baubles, guys. I love these ones. They're just like a velvet matte black with the little silver deck bit there. They're simple. They're like a medium size. Like I said, I want more black. So these are gonna be perfect. I want little hints of black. I also got these ones as well. But these ones are obviously a little bit more textured, which makes a nice change as well. This one has like a cool like geo print almost. These ones, I actually picked up four of them. I know it's kind of random, like how I'm picking them up. When they're scattered on the tree, that's all that really matters. Do you know what I mean? Like some I got three, some I got four, some I got five. I I just picked up. I did decide to pick up a bunch of mini smaller baubles as well. I think a lot of these will end up going on the tree that I'm putting upstairs in my filming room. We'll see, I might share things out. The first little pack I got was these, little black and white mini mini baubles with the little stars on them. These two are actually the same. These are like little glass style baubles. I might put one down here, one upstairs. How cute are they? Honestly, my big tip when it comes to tree decoration, I feel like the varied size of baubles you have the better. Also texture. This size in particular, I feel like is great to like fill any little gaps that you have. And then I also got this mini pack of just like silver white style baubles. These are tiny and there's loads. I've just read on the back, set of 49 frosted baubles. That's so good. Wait, do these come with string? Hmm, they do. Do they? I'm not sure. I might have to go get some string. Guys, two more Christmassy style mugs. Let's actually start with this one. This one does have a little chip in it. It was the last one there and she did give me a discount on it, bless her, at the till. It is on the inside though and you can't really see it. It is tiny. Merry Christmas, little gingerbread on. And then when you switch it around to this side, there's this. Their mug sweater got her only like three, four pounds, if that. And then I got this one. I love this one. I love how the handles, his like little hat, his little Santa with his little biscuit. The detail in this one too and like, his little nose is raised and he looks like a really happy chappy. Picked up a really gorgeous black tree. What do you call these tree skirts? We do already have one that like hides the stand. This is one of the ones that sort of like lays flat on the floor underneath the tree, if that makes sense. I'm hoping I can have both of them. Lay this on the floor, the presents around it. I think it will look really, really nice. Next thing, you might be looking at this thinking, Jordan, that's a giant bauble. You would be correct. And not only that, it's actually a little bowl. Obviously it can be like a giant serving dish or you could even just have it for decor. Guys, let me tell you, this is bloody heavy. The quality of this is mad. Proper like ceramic. I'm sure it's gonna go in my kitchen somewhere and I'm gonna just like, like fill it to the brim with schnecks. 
I love a snack. Oh my God, cookies, like a cookie jar. This is so random and I know this isn't that Christmas. Well, no, it is. It is Christmassy. This is so adult of me, but I've been wanting a pair of these like slipper mop things for the longest time. You know when you clean the floors and you either A, hate them being wet for too long or B, which is what I like to do. I like to go around a second time to like clear up any of the excess water just in case any of it's like a little bit like muddy still, whatever. Or even C, actually, to wear these when the floor's drying still. Either way, this is gonna change my life because I always use a towel and I'm just like wasting my towels, you know? Dusting clean as you walk. Oh, I will. They also had like a mop and stuff with this on as well, I'm pretty mm. sure. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> oh my God, no way. I did also get this in that print. A little gingerbread cleaning pad. I swear by these. I'm also one of those people that like can't have enough cleaning cloths, to be honest. This one's softer on the front and then it's got that more like gritty side on the back. Perfect for all different surfaces. And I'm pretty sure this was like 99p. Bugs. I'm sorry, but how stunning is this? I thought this was just so elegant but in a christmas way like this looks expensive i think it was around the 30 pound mark which isn't cheap but it's also not super expensive either it is weighty are you guys getting lux when you look at this as well i think it's the black and the gold they're like almost velvety um texture again no idea where i'm gonna put this whether it's down here or in like my filming room or the bedroom i have no idea i even feel like this is something that could stay out all year round it just accidentally fell into my basket and i was like oh dear dear get it Okay, now listen, this is gonna sound so extra of me. If there's a time to be extra, it's now. And I'm okay with that. Every year I decide what I want my wrapping paper theme to be. I have a mooch around, but like typically just the first one that grabs my arm, like perfect. Last year I did a bit of red, which was really cute. So I wanted to switch it up from that. So I've gone down the like nude black route. The wrapping paper I went for from the range. I actually picked up six rolls of this, which probably sounds really excessive. But I never, ever, 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 ever know how much wrapping paper I'm gonna need, like ever. How big are these? These are four meter rolls. And also I know Jake's gonna want wrapping paper as well. He'll use this too. And then these luxury gift tags, a 12 pack to match. They actually have like little bells on. See what I'm going for here? Nice. Koba's obsessed with tennis balls. Like he loves them. They're probably one of his favorite toys ever. I saw this and I thought he is gonna be obsessed with this. So it's a tennis ball, but it's inside this like, I don't even know, like squishy. It's like a hard, but squishy material. I don't even know. I know he's gonna love this. I said he loves tennis balls. So I also got the, <laughs> these giant Kong balls. <laughs> oh my God, they're squeakers. I didn't realize. I'm, like, I'm gonna be squeaked out, aren't I? Everything squeaks. <laughs> it literally says Kong squeak air. Oh, well, he's gonna enjoy him. And that's all that matters. So again, another stocking filler for him. I got batteries! Oh my God, I didn't realize I got these. Guys, I got some more cute little bow decorations. I actually think I got these to be on my pop-up tree. How cute are they? I got one, two, three, four of those. One pound 29. Just discovered as well, I got these bows too. They match the big bows. So these are baby versions of like the ones I wanna put on top of the tree. Oh, they're these ones. Everything is sort of like in the same color scheme anyway. They had, by the way, so 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 many christmas tree like decks baubles you name it they had it it was insane you could just walk aisles upon aisles it's amazing like me and my sister made a whole evening out of it because i mean you have to right i found another matte black bauble this little guy is going to be a little diy project for jake i've already told him about it and he's down again this was from like the kitchen section so it's like a cute little christmasy style jar got these cute little gingerbreads on it little cookies things like that and obviously it's got the little cork top right as a jar it's cute, but I thought drill a hole in the top where I can put a straw and I can actually have it as like a little Christmas tumbler. They had a smaller one about this big as well, but I decided to go for the bigger one. And I know it's gonna work because I've done it before with like previous jars from like other places. You see me with my little DIY tumbler. Yeah, it sounds weird, but I actually think it makes a difference like what you drink something out of. Is anybody else with me on that? If my cup's cute, the drink tastes better. Oh, uh, shut up, Jordan. We're getting there. We only have a few more things left. I think, are these the last kind of baubles? Yeah, these are beautiful. I feel like they look really expensive. I mean, they're like glass baubles, but look at the details on these guys. Three of this design, three of this design. I know I'm only holding two, but I did get three. <laughs> these are some of my favorites that I got in this entire video. I just think they're so pretty. This style was $1.99 and this style was... Not quite Cobra, but good uh, good guess. These ones are probably about the same. Wait, oh my God, I forgot about this. <laughs> this is actually a bauble, this little mini gong. They had loads of different ones of these in different colors, but I went for the cute little white fluffy one. I got one because I just wanted it to be like a cute little round and one on its own. This is like the where's Wally of the tree, where's gonk? <laughs> one of the last Christmassy bits that I did pick up was this nutcracker. Guys, this was so 
cheap. I couldn't believe it when I saw the price. This was on discount and I'm pretty sure it was about five, six pounds, something like that. It was on display with all like the lights and stuff. Oh no, polystyrene. Got this like nails on a chalkboard. So I know it's only a little one, like it's not huge. If you know me, I'm such like a metals mixer. Like for example, I wear like my silver and my gold jewelry together. So the fact that this is silver and gold as well, yeah, it's just a bit of me. This one I really wanna have in my filming room because I feel like it's a really nice size to have. Really random and I'm ending this not on a Christmassy note, but that's so fine. <laughs> I just wanted to show you these as well because I did pick them up in the same shop, so I may as well. These are black bamboo overdoor bathroom caddies. I really wanted some new bathroom storage for all like the shampoos, conditioners. Thinking of putting this over the shower door so that we can have it in the shower, if that makes sense. Because right now they're just all on the bottom of the shower. When you go to clean the shower, they're just a pain in the ass because they're in the way. This storage will be perfect. I picked up two, so like one for each shower that we have. But also hair masks, razors, stuff like that. There's hooks at the bottom here as well. I'm obsessed with storage. Any way that I can make things easier and more organized. I'm here for. This way as well avoids like drilling any holes or like, cause suction cups I just don't trust in the showers. Anybody else like this? I'm just waiting for it all to fall. Like I feel like it doesn't have the strength to hold what I need it to hold. Hangover and you're done. Guys, that is it. That is my range Christmassy shop. I am surrounded by Christmas festiveness now, which makes me so happy, but I need to go and get this organized and all out ready to enjoy the month of December. So I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I will try to link or write everything below so you can see what everything's called. I know Christmas is around the corner and a lot of you probably have majority of your decks and stuff now, but if you haven't been to the range, go and look for like extra additions that you can add because it's so good. It's like my top favorite place to shop when it comes to Christmas stuff. So I love you. Thank you for watching and um, have the best Christmas ever.